me, Jackie. Maya. And Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Chat. Maya, what's going on? Did Joe make you nervous? Oh, he's a nice guy. He just is kind of big. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our Bison channel. The Bakers are all about Bison ranching. When I say the Bakers, that's me, Marissa, and our daughter, Brooks, and Eleanor, and Big Joe. Hey, what are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? Huh? You're rattling the bag, and this guy's gonna get excited. So, Maya's in here chilling with me, as you can tell. <laughs> Maya gets nervous when Big Joe starts rolling up, but uh, Maya's a garter of the... Uh, most important thing of the day, which is cubes, right? So when we do our herd checks, we like to bring us some cubes, which is a uh, number one task of the day, typically. Not always do they get cubes. Right now we got protein tubs out, but you know, we're just feeling pretty generous today. And so we are getting cubes out, my and I. Marissa is busy this morning doing some work, probably some merchandise work. And then Brooks is at school. So, Maya and I are rolling solo today. We've got a couple visitors. We got our princess, Eleanor. Eleanor is one of the first bison that we raised and she is just unique and special in her own way. And then you have our, one of our breed bulls right here, the big, big Joe, of course. But we are on our way to the Dunbar herd. Um, guys, we are getting ready for fall 2023 bison roundup we are getting ready for that and uh, big joe is completely inside the ranger right now i don't know if you guys can tell but he takes up from about here all the way to up there hey big boy okay yes 
So I'm on this side of the ATV where there's no bison. And you stay over there. A little safe spot here. So once I give him cubes, he'll leave me alone. But we're making our way to the Dunbar herd. Going to check on them. But we're getting to round them up. Which means they've got to go from the hay meadow, which they've been there all the most of the summer. Okay, he's going to run me out. So that means I have to go to this side. They've been there since uh, July 5th, basically. And it's time to rotate them off the pasture. And because of Big Joe and Dunbar getting into it in late June, right at the beginning of breeding season, we've had to really make sure that the herds have been separated. Well, they have to... Okay. He's going to try to bust these cubes open. How much we guys want to bet? Hey, hey, I will give you some. You just have to wait. Will you be patient, please? No, you're not going to? Oh, really? You're going to do that? You're going to give me that look? That's like a giant puppy dog look coming from a American bison. I will give you cubes. You're getting it wet. Hey. Hey. Will you relax just a little, please? If Marissa was here right now, she'd not be happy. She'd be probably freaking out a little. Hey, I'll get you some cubes. Just give me some room. Okay. I'm gonna see if he'll follow me over here. I'm gonna put out, got some Redmond Minerals with me. Our Bison 90 products that we use. Awesome stuff. I always give you a link in the description um, and a coupon code. You guys need it. Redmond not only has greater products like the Bison 90 that we always use, which is right here. I'm gonna put that out. But uh, Redmond has lots of other products, human products that you can um, get. They've got clay. They have uh, something called Relight that Marissa and I love, love. It is an awesome electrolyte drink. And it's a daily thing for, for Marissa and I to drink. Uh, they have a lot of great products, a lot of agricultural products for us. We're getting a new palette pretty soon. They're sending me some new stuff to use. I'm excited about that as well so i just found a stick in the meantime but what i was saying was big joe he's he's over here now so i'm kind of in a safer spot under this pecan tree we are going to have to move the dunbar herd with the roundup we've got to move them out of the hay meadow through the burn unit where the burn unit is off limits right now it's only can be grazed a couple times a year it's in protection mode basically uh so we've got to run them through the burn unit and slice through that 80 acres and end up back in a what i call the nine acres i'm gonna hold them there and in the meantime the big guy and his females and the calves which you've got nine calves in that group right here in pasture three the big joe herd i've got to get them up to the barn and we're kind of getting in that mood of, hey, it's time to work our bison. So that's something that we're going to do very soon. And what I'm doing is just like I've been doing, has been giving me sacks of cubes, right? And take it away from them. After a while, you're like, you make it three or four days. And so when they haven't had cubes, it makes them hungry for the cubes, basically. Now they've been eating hay and whatnot and grazing, but they're like, hey, there's the ATV. There's the cubes. I'm hungry for cubes and so that's when we're going to actually move them so it's kind of getting in their mind we've got to use the cubes and the atv to move them this time we may have some horseback coming my buddy mark has got some horses core could come along but you have to just pull her core is not ready to ride yet so we're kind of getting that on our mind and it's going to happen very soon so that should be fun getting them from the hay meta to the nine acres and then from there we slowly bring our bison up and we work them and when I say work them, basically the adults get wormed. Uh, we do any separations that we need to do. And then some of the calves are going to get pulled off uh, to start the weaning process. There's the herd. And here comes Big Joe. He's making his way around these blackberry bushes. So 
that's why I'm headed to the Dunbar herd here in just a second and uh, get it on their mind a little bit. I'm gonna put out some mineral quick before he comes and visits me. And I use this right here. You can tell they need some mineral, but these are not the best. You really need something heavy, heavy duty. Now, Big Joe's pretty good. Dunbar, not so much. Hello. So you can kind of see, I had some Redmond products in there, but it does a good job. characters they hear the bag shaking so they think it's cube time and they're pretty much right because there's some right here but i love this product from redmond i have a great rep his name's carson their ag side of things they have a lot of good stuff which is basically this is 90 selenium okay and uh they add molasses in this i've talked about it before marissa and i actually got to go to the redmond salt mine to see where all this comes from. I can't wait to tell you about it. But the bison love it. So they add molasses to this just to kind of entice the bison a little bit. But guys, this right here is straight from the old salt that are left from the ancient seas in Utah. All right, I'm gonna leave this to them. By the way, check this out. Look at those. Look at those dudes right there. Loaded with pecans. I better get out of the way. Well, this is interesting. It's a good thing I came out here. We come through here almost every day. Not sure whose cattle these are. Kind of have an idea now that I've uh, seen them. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to get these guys out. But um, cows aren't the important thing right now. We need, we're going to go ahead and go check the Dunbar herd, see how they're doing. We'll come back. In the meantime, I'm going to send a message to who I think the owner is. Um, some of our neighbors here, I think he leases this land. I'm going to send him a text and see if these are his, some pictures of them. In the meantime, we'll go check the Dunbar herd real quick, get them taken care of, and then we got to figure out where these cows came from and whose they are, and we're going to put them back. guys are out here on nine acres. I don't see any fence down. Hmm.
that game. Well, got the cattle moved. It's not the first time. When we first got on this property, uh, that was a couple of things that I had to go through. A couple issues there. I kept getting cattle on the property and we solved the issue, found, found the problem and fixed it. And basically what it was is a, uh, it's a water crossing. It is a, the creek runs right through the middle of this property. What happened is uh, it had been washed out. And it was basically just a good old-fashioned cow panel. And so Kevin and I and Marissa put it back up and got it going. Um, and so once we figured out where these cattle come from, we got it taken care of. So it is what it is as part of ranching. You're going to have, hopefully you don't have a bunch of animals showing up on your property. But, you know, sometimes they let you know where your mistakes are and uh, where your issues are. And they did in this case. So. You just hope that you have good neighbors that'll help you on fencing and stuff like that. Something else I want to show you guys is, uh, so this is pasture two and it's had a lot of, uh, off time. If you uh, saw what I did here in pasture two is recently we had the bison pulled off of it. I came through and I brush hogged it with uh, Richard, my neighbor's big brush hog. Brush hog, this is about, about a 20 acre pasture and brush hogged it. I left a six to eight inch stubble which is good for our native grasses and whatnot. I did that out here. And then Daniel from Arsenal and Homestead, my brother-in-law, he brought his super cedar from Woods, uh, brought it over, and we did a mixture of rye, oats, hairy vetch, and crimson clover. Those four seeds in a great mix. And we did a cover crop on pasture too. And it's our first time doing this. And uh, it's kind of a gamble. It had rained and we were like, okay, it softened the ground. And so we came through, we seeded it and uh, it's all, if it's coming in great. We've had a little bit of rain since then, which is awesome. But uh, here I had some hay that I had had out for the bison at one point. And this is one of the bare spots here. You can tell a little bit. And so what I did was uh, there was some hay left. But they didn't graze some of the bigger thick stock stuff and so i spread it out on this to try to uh, you know when there's some runoff here it try to it tries to catch it the hay can catch it it also protects that bare ground to help the soil a little bit but i love this because i really hit this hard on that super cedar and it's coming up very well in a lot of these bare spots not all the bare spots it came up in but we've been getting a do about every morning and it's been working out for us. We hadn't had a lot of rain really at all. We're still relatively dry, but a little bit of dew in the morning has been nice. And uh, so I just wanted to share this with you. You can't, you say, well, it looks green, dusty, but I have to get up close to really show you that it's coming in. And so we're looking at maybe a two to three inch height on some of this um, stuff that I'm planting. So hope it comes in. Good thing, one, this has to get a lot of recovery time for uh for really a cover crop to go and really take off and give it time it's got to rest for 90 days which is great for this what we call uh this pasture is what we call sacrifice pasture which basically means that we use this pasture specifically for uh, a winter feeding so they're up close see the barn is right up here right so we use these pastures up close for mostly the big joe herd 
uh, to feed them in the wintertime. We let them go where I just left in pasture three. So your sacrifice pastures, the pastures where you have to have your animals, you've got to have them on some of your ground uh, for long durations. Pasture one and two right up here next to the barn are those sacrifice pastures, really, if that's what you want to call it. But pasture two is going to be um, given a lot of rest. Pasture one right here behind me, like where the barn is, is going to be used kind of as one of the main pastures, especially when we go to round them up. They're going to come up this way and go all the way to the Ponderosa barn. Don't bite me. I love you too. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching.